Okay, everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm excited to bring you another video today. And this again was on request from my community. We are diving into how to build a successful social media channel um, because I know it can be very overwhelming when we come into the online world or trying to pick what platform and then be successful at it. Um, I wanted to do a video just dedicated to this. So um, here's the, the first sort of start with this is to first identify all of the social media platforms that are possible that we can, um, you know, kind of create or build our communities on. So I'm going to list a couple here. Um, there's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, podcasting, um, blogs, and um, I think I said LinkedIn. Um, there's, there's always Pinterest is another one. So there's all kinds of platforms on social media um, for us to kind of build and be successful at. My philosophy is that we don't have to feel the pressure that we have to kind of master and be successful on all the platforms that exist because um, I think trying to master, especially if this is something you're first transitioning, all of the things is, is going to be very overwhelming and it's probably going to stretch you because you're trying to cover all different places. So what I really sort of recommend, and this is something that I recommend to kind of my newbies that are transitioning in the online, is to pick a platform that feels really intuitive to you and that you enjoy being on. Because I think that when social media starts to feel like a chore, um, or it's something that we don't enjoy, it's going to be really hard to create something successful around it. So I really recommend sitting with, you know, what is the most enjoyable intuitive way for you to connect with your people? So for me, um, I started with Facebook because I, I felt it was an intuitive platform. I loved that I could connect and engage with people. And I tend to, if anybody follows me, know I don't really do short and concise really well. So being able to write a lot and add images was something that I felt was a really easy way. Um, probably 80 to 90% of my clients come from Facebook. It was also a place that my people hung out. So that's another thing. It's like, where does our audience hang out and what feels really um, intuitive and easy for us? Instagram is one that I'm recently kind of more active on. And the reason why um, this is kind of a slight embarrassing story that I wasn't so active on Instagram is because I, I, oh, also Twitter. I forget Twitter. I don't even touch Twitter because short and concise is like not my jam. So um, just as a sidebar note, pick the platforms that play to your strengths, right? Again, if it's, if it's intuitive to you, if you enjoy being on it, if it's the way that you connect to your community, you're going to be much more successful at it um, and pick something that plays to your strengths. I am, I think, a good storyteller. Um, I write a lot of content, um, something like Facebook. Also, I, I happen to love video. So Facebook, YouTube, podcasts, those are the things that I have now and also Instagram. Those are the four that I kind of focus on. I've been building my platforms for probably five years. I did not start with all of them. Um, my podcast is something I started last year and YouTube is something I'm just starting now. Um, when, it, when I first started, all I was doing was Facebook. So it is okay to just pick one or two. Um, again, my Instagram story, I didn't do Instagram because I could not for the life of me figure out how to write things in a formatted way that I like. And I just discovered a life hack of writing them on my notes on my iPhone and then copy and pasting, which has changed my life on Instagram. Um, but it took me a while to figure that out. Um, and I do find that I do have people that find me on Instagram that are not on Facebook. And I love that you can use imagery. So pictures, um, especially cause I'm such a visual person. And I think some people are visual. I have a lot of really beautiful pictures of the work that I do with horses, um, that Instagram kind of is now starting to feel like a natural thing. I, I actually happen to love doing video. And then with podcasting, why I got into that last year is because I realized, and this was sort of an encouragement for me to be able to expand beyond just Facebook. But what I want to also tell you guys watching this, I built a multiple six figure business just using Facebook for a long time. So, and, and using Facebook without spending any money on advertising. So it's, it's actually really doable to pick and master just one or even two things. So if you're starting, um, find the things that feel easy for you, that your people are there, that you enjoy being, and it plays to your strengths. Um, so if you like short and concise, you know, Twitter, Instagram is great. Um, I, again, I love Facebook because there's a lot of interaction that I can have with people. I have a Facebook group. So think about, um, 
what is really servicing of the community. LinkedIn, some of my clients who deal more with sort of corporate um, or leadership tend to navigate or head to LinkedIn more because that's where they feel that population is. So it also depends on your population. So that's the first step, picking a platform or maybe two platforms to start. Do not overwhelm yourself. And then after you master or find your rhythm with one or two, then you can always add on top of that. So pick your platform. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, I think if you're starting, I would feel free to maybe pick something that feels like this feels like an easy doable thing for me to do. And then you can kind of experiment with some of the other pieces as well. Um, so that's, so that's kind of the first thing around that. The second thing, give yourself time to master. Um, and build success on your platform. So I will tell you that building a social media platform and a successful one, it takes time and it takes consistency. There is no shortcut. There is no overnight success that does not exist. Um, and you can do that organically without having to spend a lot of money in advertising. I have a business where I have a massive overhead. I run an 80 acre retreat center. I have 28 horses. I don't have a lot of spare extra cash lying around to put into advertising. So, and that's why I love, you know, Facebook and Instagram because I don't have to, and I still reach and I'm able to connect to a lot of people. So again, we don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, find a place that feels really good and kind of homey to you to start and where your people kind of hang out. Okay, so to have success with building our social media platform, first and foremost, we need to, there's two things. We need to be consistent and we need to create content that resonates with our community. Um, consistency, I wanna start with first because I think that this is often the thing that I see sometimes with my clients and um, is that they are consistent for like a week and then they disappear. I will tell you that, and I kind of joke with this too, I have a, I ha, I work with a lot of introverts, so I have a lot of silent lurkers. And what that means is I have people that follow and read everything that I do. They don't like or comment on anything that they do end up enrolling and becoming clients. So having a consistency where I'm writing, regardless of like the feedback I'm getting has been really important in terms of building that trust and relationship with my people. So I think what happens with consistency sometimes is this whole thing of like, I'm hearing trick crickets, which I actually don't think is, is a, is a thing. Um, it, it creates discouragement where then we sort of, um, we retreat and then we don't post anything. Um, now, I definitely will often say to people, do not measure yourself against me because they say, Hillary, you're like a prolific writer and I happen to be. Um, I don't think that you have to do things every single day, but I do think a consistency of like two times a week or three times a week is really important because you're constantly touching in and nurturing your community. So one of the things that I recommend to start is to create a schedule and to actually, you know, really commit to um, here's maybe the days that I'm going to be present or post something on social media. Um, for those of us starting an online business, having that mentality of knowing that nurturing your social media community is a really important part of your business and you need to create time and space for that. So um, marketing, right? Social media is basically marketing. We have to create space for that in a business for us to be successful and to get clients. So the thing again that I would recommend is schedule it in. You know, know that this is where I'm gonna post um, this week. Um, there's a couple of different ways that we can, and I'm going to help with sort of the content piece too. Um, you can batch your content, meaning there might be once a week that you write a couple of posts that all you need to do is copy and paste. There's also different platforms like um, Hootsuite where you can, and also Facebook does this too, where you can um, have it so that it pre-publishes for you so that you don't have to post yourself that you can kind of get it set up in one of those things and they automatically post it for you. Um, I tend to be somebody that likes to create in the moment. And so it works better for me to kind of create authentic content while I'm in it. So I don't do the pre-scheduling, but I do know that in my week, I do have in my calendar um, that there's a certain, there's a certain time where I'm touching in and connecting in with my, you know, social media platform is just a part of like my routine. So I really encourage that it becomes basically part of your routine. Um, if you're new to this, pick something that feels doable to you to start that you can always grow. So if twice a week is like, listen, um, that feels like a good place for me to start, then start there and be consistent with twice a week. 
and then move up. Um, I know there's some people that post like multiple times a day and some people that post every day. I really do not think there is a formula because I think, again, the most important thing about because we're the ones who are creating it, it has to feel good for us. So you want to find your sort of rhythm and how much you're posting that feels good to you. I don't really have a set amount of days that I need to post. Um, but I do like probably four, four or five is kind of works for me. Um, where, but I, but I know it's a routine for me to touch in and be nurturing on my platform consistently. Um, whether it's in my Facebook group and I have a Facebook page and then I have my personal profile and then I have Instagram. I don't recommend people have as many of the things that I have going on because it's a little bit chaotic. I have a couple of different platforms. I have my Hillary Schneider women who run with horses. Um, don't do that. <laughs> because it's it's a lot but what i what i do sort of do is i often just i copy and paste the same post on all of my different for for um you know places so that i'm kind of recycling content in a way um another thing that i've encouraged you know if you have a newsletter list and you write a newsletter use some of that content for your social media posting for the week right so there's ways that we can do this but i think really really important schedule it in and make it a routine um, consistency, if you do not have consistency with your social media, it's going to be really hard for you to nurture and build your business. And that's just, you know, that's just what needs to be done. There's a lot of different tools that you can make it really easy for yourself um, in terms of scheduling posts so that you just have to put it in and then it just posts for you. I think people do where they even do it for the month or for the week. So there's lots of different ways that you can find that works for you. Again, I don't sort of impose any one way on somebody because I think we all have our rhythms, you know, so pick the days that are going to be your social media days. You're going to have time or you're going to put that in your calendar of like from this time to this time, I'm doing my posts and be consistent. Do not lose your consistency. Consistency is key. Okay. Now, a lot of people will say, really cool about consistency. My problem is I don't have the content. So here's what is going to help because obviously we have to have content to be consistent and we have to have content to have a successful social media channel. So here's a couple of different things that helps me have content. The first thing is, um, Knowing your audience and, you know, what are some of the things that are really helpful or inspiring to them? So I would recommend you make a list and maybe even do market research if you don't know this and, you know, pull your people. Um, I regularly will go into my Facebook group and um, ask people, what do you need help with right now? Like what's going on? Where, what do you find in my content that's really supportive for you? So to make it sort of easy for you, have a list of topics or things that people come to you for um, or topics that you feel really land with your people and have a list available to you so that if you're really stuck or uninspired, you can just go to that list, right? Um, content for social media can be um, stories. It can be, you know, wisdom. It can be advice. And it also can be just inspirational photos, you know? So I think sort of a combination, but you got to know what resonates with your people. So make a list. What is really resonant with my people? Um, and, and what also am I passionate about teaching people, right? So if you have a social media platform, there's chances are you created it because you want to be in service of something. There's something of value that you have for people that they want to hear from you and that you feel passionate about. Make yourself a list. And I would say keep adding to this list in those moments that you feel inspired um, because then you then if you're stuck you can come back to that and it can prompt you so create your pages of prompts topics here's what my people like um if there's things that you see that are people that are similar to talk about that other people really like borrow some ideas speak with your own voice do not steal content but you can definitely see what's maybe really resonating with your people um, as a sidebar note to add to that i remember when i first started my facebook group and um, you know, I talk about a lot of things, you know, business being one of them. Um, but I also do like, there's a lot of woo woo to my work. And I remember being my Facebook group talking about ritual and somebody said like, what is ritual and how do I do it? So some of the things that we think are very basic, um, that are natural to us are not natural to other people. So I think the hardest thing about the content thing is that, we sometimes overlook the things that feel really basic and simple to us. Um, 
that maybe actually really resonate to your people. So another thing that you can think about is like, what is supernatural to me that I love talking about that I do all the time in my life um, and make that list as well. And, and again, so you have sort of these places to go for inspiration. The other place is our own story and our own journey. So a lot of, you know, if you follow me on Facebook, or you're on my list or you see me anywhere else, I share a lot. Um, my content comes a lot from the things that I'm experiencing. So whether it is through, uh, you know, a retreat that I just led and what I saw in the content or um, talking to a client, you know, being on a client call or something I'm moving through in my own life, I often will use that content or sorry, that experience as content. So our content can also come through what are you journeying through right now? You know, um, I will say that the success of our, like our social media channel, if you look at, if the platform, if you sort of think of it as it's just a, it's kind of like an online home for people to kind of experience and, and, um, Sharon, I, I use the word medicine, but kind of your essence. And it's a way for us to share ourselves. Um, a lot of people I know resonate with a lot of my work because I share really intimately and vulnerably about my journey. And so what am I moving through right now? Um, what is something that I think a lot of the time, some of my content would be like literally a journal post that I would say to myself. So we can have a combination of like, you know, the wisdom pieces that this will be really helpful content for people kind of like I'm doing here. And we can have those more intimate and personal shares. I do really think it's important for us to, to share vulnerability pieces of us, because I really do believe people hire you, not what you do. And so creating that connection and giving a glimpse of yourself. And that's really, I think what social media platforms are. It's, it's like giving a piece of ourselves so that people can get to connect with that. Um, that sharing kind of um, those intimate, authentic stories and, and spaces about yourself is really important. And then that also allows ourselves to um, be successful because I would say my most successful posts in Facebook or Instagram are always the ones where I'm delving deep into something that I'm processing or I'm processing or I've processed with a client. Um, and that's what has helped me to kind of organically build is just really sharing that. So I found a lot of success in that, you know, sort of share. So that's a really, really important piece too. It doesn't have to be all of your content, but it's really powerful. And then the third thing in terms of, you know, where I find my content for um, social media is sometimes I just like, you know, put that intention out is what is going to be really helpful for my people today or this week. And I kind of have like a, a download or I get like an idea and I start writing about that. So there's those, those three places, do your market research. What does your audience want to hear? What resonates? What are you passionate about talking about? What would be helpful for them? Um, shares about yourself, your personal journey, what you're moving through. Um, and then thirdly, just putting that intention of what might help people this week or what's going on in the collective, you know? So those are sort of the, the three kind of places that I focus on. And then you want to be consistent. Um, so again, to recap the video, pick a platform that feels intuitive, enjoyable for you, that plays to your strengths, and also that your people are going to find you. Number two, be consistent schedule in the time and just make it routine that you need to connect and build your social media community. And that's where people get um, connected to you. Um, consistency is really key and really important. And third, um, the content. So how do we create the content that's also going to help support the success of our social media? And the last thing I will add, do not be afraid to encourage people to follow you or ask people to say, this is where you can find me um, or to share, you know, so often when I'm posting something, um, you know, on my page or on my personal page or wherever I'm showing up, um, if this resonates with you, feel free to share it, you know, so having those sort of organic shares where people are passing on um, and don't be afraid to ask for that because that will build your connection and let people also share your words and wisdom for you too. So I hope that was helpful. Questions, comments, let me know. Um, if there's anything else you want me to deepen around that piece, um, I'm happy to do a part two video if there's, if there's enough, um, you know, questions around that, let me know what resonates and then feel free to check out below the video, the other places that you can kind of follow me or see some other videos. Um, and uh, get some more of the things that I have to share with you. So hope that was helpful. Go forth and build your social media community and we will see you on the next one.